I'm going to show you how to make the best high protein crepes with chocolate filling and strawberry topping. It's such a delicious combination of flavors and is a perfect breakfast with 40 grams of protein per portion. To make the crepes you will only need oat flour, whey protein powder, eggs, water and milk. Start by adding two eggs into a mixing bowl. Whisk them until thoroughly combined. Add one scoop of whey protein powder. Mix again until fully combined. Start adding 110 grams of milk while constantly whisking the mixture. Repeat the same, but with water now. Add 50 grams of oat flour. If you don't have oat flour, you can make it easily by grinding oats in a blender. Combine all of the ingredients together with a whisk. The batter should be smooth and quite watery. Let the batter rest until you prepare the chocolate filling. For this you will only need cacao powder, whey protein powder, salt, water and a sweetener. Add 40 grams of cacao powder into a bowl, followed by a scoop of whey protein powder. I use hazelnut flavor, as this goes great with chocolate. Add a pinch of salt and combine all together with a whisk. Now you're going to add water, step by step, until you get a nice thick consistency. I used approximately 100 grams of water, but this depends on your protein powder. That's why you should only add it slowly, to make sure you don't overdo it. Otherwise it becomes a chocolate protein shake instead of a chocolate spread. You can see how it slowly comes together and it has a kind of pudding-like texture. I love to make a chocolate spread this way, because look at the volume you get and of course it has way better macros compared to, for example, Nutella. It looks beautiful, let's give it a try. It is very good. The hazelnut protein powder and the cacao powder create a really nice taste. I will just add a drop of stevia to make it a little sweeter. Alright, let's make the crepes now. Pour a little bit of oil onto the pan and spread it evenly. I use coconut oil for this. The stove should be on medium temperature so you don't burn the crepes. Pour a spoon of the batter into one side of the pan and spread it all around into a circle. Let it cook until the edges start to pull away like this. Now carefully flip it with a spatula and leave on the pan for about 30 seconds more. Slide each crab onto a plate and repeat the process until all the batter is gone. Don't turn the heat off because we still have to make the strawberry topping. Add 300 grams of frozen strawberries into the pan. In the meantime, fill your crepes with a chocolate filling. Spread it evenly across the whole crepe and fold it into your desired shape. I always get six crepes from this recipe and split it into two portions. You might get more or less, depending on the size of your pan. When you see the strawberries are soft and start to release water, add about one tablespoon of lemon juice and 10 grams of sugar. The sugar will help to thicken the sauce, so I wouldn't leave it out. You can see here how the water gets reduced and the sauce starts to thicken. Now just add the hot strawberry topping onto the crepes and enjoy. I love to prepare this for breakfast during the weekend as it requires a little bit more time than eggs for example, but it is definitely worth it. This is a really satisfying dish for me. When I eat the whole plate, I'm full and I don't need to snack on anything until lunch. This recipe gives you two plates like this, so adjust the amount according to how many people you feed. 